My love has asked me to go pick up some cakes from the bakery. But I would have loved it if my sweetie came with me. I think I can't get you out of my mind. Look at me, talking to myself about you. <laughs> it's not too bad. I'm so happy to have met someone like you. Sweetie, I'm home. And I've got the cakes. Come hug me. It was short, but I missed you. <sighs> I love feeling you close to me. Wait. Hold me a little longer. Just a little longer. No, oh, no. I'm okay. There is nothing. No, it was okay for me to go pick up the cakes. The old woman in the bakery was really kind. <laughs> she didn't even get scared of the great Raksha. She was really sweet, and even complimented my hair. Didn't expect another human to give me compliments. <laughs> it's normal because I'm the most beautiful person on earth, haven't had hell. <laughs> You always know what to say to make me blush. But you're wrong this time. You are the most beautiful person in all the universe. And I'm the lucky one to be with you. And I will not accept anyone saying otherwise. Oh, looks like I finally made you blush a little. I promise you that one day I will make you red as a tomato. <laughs> but I will literally tear a person to shreds if they dare to call you anything other than beautiful. Hmm, but... I also don't want too many people to compliment you. Why? Well, I sometimes can be a little jealous. What? Demons can also be jealous. I don't need to worry because you only have eyes for me. Thank you. I also only have eyes for you. I love you. I hope that you know that I love and will always love you. I will do everything to protect you. Hmm? Follow you to the chamber. Is there anything you want to show me? It's a surprise? I don't know what the surprise is, but it smells really good. It's relaxing. So, let's see what you've prepared. What are all those things on the bed? It's for my pampering session. A pampering session? You want to pamper me today? I, I have never been pampered before. Quite the contrary. Thank you for doing this for me. 
I love you. So, what do I need to do for this pampering session? Just relax and listen to you? Yeah, I, I can do that. You want me to first sit at the end of the bed? Okay. <sighs> I'm all tensed up. Well... I've never been pampered before. I'm scared to mess up everything you've prepared. <sighs> no. I should say that I'm just scared lately. You've prepared candles that smell good. I can see the flower that I told you I found beautiful when we were at the hill. You want to take care of me. You're doing all these things for me. I'm just happy now. The most happy I've ever been. You're so perfect. You're the love of my life. Everything is perfect. Too perfect. I'm scared that something bad will happen. Even if you die, we will still be able to be with each other in hell, but I don't want that to happen too soon. I, I just can't stop thinking that something bad will happen soon. I'm getting scared that something will happen to you. That I might not be able to protect you. Now that I have someone I care about, it becomes really scary to live with the possibility of losing you. <laughs> Nothing good lasts long for demons like me. Thank you for hugging me. I really needed it. What? I don't need to think about all this, but... You already promised that you would spend eternity with me. There is no need to fear that we will be separated. Nothing will be able to take me from you. <laughs> and you don't intend to die young. <laughs> You're going to live until your bones are completely rotten. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't think about dumb things like this. I promised you that you would be protected for all eternity. And if I keep being down like this, I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> and if I think I'm the most happy I can be now, I'm not prepared for what you have in store. You're going to make sure that I'm going to be happier and happier each day. For eternity. You're already doing it, my love. Thank you. You always know what to say to comfort me.
You wanted to pamper me because you felt that I was stressed and not myself? Hmm. So you noticed it. You're so sweet. Well, at least you know why now. But you fixed that problem. I don't feel scared of this anymore. <laughs> you once again made me feel loved. Thank you. You don't really need to pamper me now. Hmm? You still want to? Why? You just want to pamper me. You like taking care of me? <laughs> Thank you. You're always so sweet. You're going to start with a massage. Mm. You're going to massage my shoulders because they always seem so tense. <laughs> but nothing. I just find it a little cute that you have to stand up on the bed to massage my shoulder. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing about your height. I'm just really tall compared to you humans. I didn't think someone would find that attractive, but you liked it. And I learned to like myself more because of you. Also, I like being much bigger and taller than you, because I can carry you and snuggle you up to me. <laughs> hmm... You really know how to use your hands. Hmm. I never knew that you know how to massage. Oh, yes, hmm. just there. Press more. Hmm, that really feels good. I think I'm going to start asking you more of this. My shoulders are really starting to feel better. Of course. It's my first massage. And my shoulders are tense because of all this time spent fighting. There are massage salons in hell, but not where we demons of war reside. We live, if I could call that living, in the deepest part of hell, where we just fight and fight. Nothing else. Just fighting for pleasure. It's the only thing that makes us feel alive. Hmm. But it's not like that anymore for me. Now it's you that makes me feel alive. I love you. <laughs> Stop kissing me on the neck. You know I'm ticklish there. <laughs> Stop. Don't give me a hickey. You're always trying to give me a little one. <laughs> Do you really want people to know that I'm yours? Wow. That wouldn't be so bad when I think about it. <laughs> yeah, there are those kinds of things in hell. 
I heard it's not as beautiful as here, but the other levels of hell are quite pleasant. There are towns and all. Everyone has a house because of the big boss there. It's just where demons like me reside, that it's total chaos. I heard that the violence we create from our battle is a source of energy that feeds hell. But we don't really care about that because, well, we just fight because we need it. Did I ever try to go to another level? I tried one time. But on the way I found a hellcat. It's like a cat, but twice my size and with fur and flame. We started to fight, and I put him in submission with what I think you call here a supplet. Then it submitted to me, and I just started to ride him to fight, and totally forgot about going up. <laughs> we just started to fight together. For at least five centuries. Yes, you could say I had a pet. Did I give him a name? No. When I wanted to call him, I just screamed, and he knew to come. He was a good kitty. Now he's become the chief of a Hellcat pack, and we sometimes meet each other in wars. Yes, hell is a lot different than most people think. When you and I are there, I will make sure to find us the most beautiful place on the upper level for us to live. Mm, yeah, your massage felt good. Thank you. It was a great pampering session. It's not finished. What's next? You're going to brush my hair. You've always found it beautiful. Thank you. It's the first time someone has brushed my hair. Hmm. It feels nice. It's simple, but... It feels so nice. And because you do it, I feel loved. I want to brush yours too someday. I want to put you between my legs, wrap you up in a warm blanket, then brush your hair softly. After that, I want to kiss you and cuddle you to sleep. That's decided. Next week, you get a full day of pampering. I'll have to do research. Nothing. I didn't say anything. Mm. Yes. My hair got a little longer. I should cut it soon. Yes, I know how to cut it. I just need an axe, and I can give myself a haircut. Yes, an axe. Scissors? No, I don't know how to cut hair with scissors. That seems really difficult. Yes, I did my haircut with an axe. You're surprised that I got such a beautiful haircut with an axe? <laughs> Thank you. If you want, I could give you a haircut, too. But I would need an axe. I should try to go to a hairdresser. 
Uh, I don't really want someone other than you to touch me. What? Stop laughing. Also, I think the hairdresser would need a ladder to reach my hair. <laughs> mm, but I should really cut it soon. If not, it will become really long, really quickly. When I was in hell, there was this time where I didn't cut it for two months. And I think it was three meters long. No, I'm not joking. Our bodies are really different from yours. Humans. Do all demons of war have as beautiful red hair as mine? <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, my sweetie. There are legends that we are born with white hair, and the more we fight and bathe in the blood of our enemies, the more red our hair becomes. Is this legend true? No. We all have a different color of hair, but they tend to be a little reddish. But because of this legend, demons of war with hair as red as mine are most feared by the others. I even got a nickname because of it. What was it? The Scarlet Queen. You think it's cool? Well, thank you. The simple mention of this nickname would make other demons cower in fear. So it was boring for a long period of time because demons wouldn't want to fight me. <laughs> Have you finished brushing my hair? It really does feel soft now. Thank you. What are you putting in your hands? Hair lotion. What does it do? It's to take care of my hair. Oh, you're also massaging my head. Oh, that feels really good. Mm, the lotion also smells really good. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm getting addicted to this. I'll start to ask you for more of this. <laughs> You're also kissing my neck. You're so gentle and soft. I really love you. <sighs> Don't touch my horns. Oh, they're really sensitive. <sighs> Please stop caressing them. Oh, my whole body is tingling. Oh, it makes me, it makes me, mm, if this keeps up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <sighs> it's okay, sweetie. Let me pin you down, gently. It's pointless to try to get up. Just be a good little sweetie. Oh, you really shouldn't have done that. I feel a lot of things now. I don't think I can hold back. You really made a big mistake. Because now... I just want to devour you. 
Don't worry. I'm just going to leave some hickeys and bite marks all over your body. You love giving those so much after all. I just want to mark you. I want everyone to understand that you're mine. I'm not going to break anything. I love you too much for that. But you might want to take a day off to recover. Oh, look at you. You can't seem to wait. Mm. Mm. I'm going to take really good care of you, my sweet.